There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. <laughs> Hello to you. Oh, how do you do? It's really cold in Fimble Valley today. I think it's nearly winter time. Ooh. Ready? Then off we go. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just doing some knitting. Can you see what I'm making? It's a mitten. Oh, I'm knitting mittens for the Fimbles. Can you guess who these are for? I'll give you a clue. I've already made a pair for Florrie and a pair for Baby Pom. So these are for Fimbo. Oh, I hope he likes them. Hello, Uncle Roly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. Oh, it must be chilly outside. Your nose is even pinker than usual. It's very cold outside, Uncle Roly. It's even a little bit cold in here, too. You go! <laughs> Me go! <laughs> Let's go, go, go. Little Bo, what do you know? I know it's cold today. Oh, why don't you go and find a nice cosy book while I go and make some warm milk for you all? Oh, yes, please. A story time with Little Bo. Our favourite time of day. <laughs> Comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, the wind and the sun argued about who was stronger. <sighs> Whistled the wind. Of course I'm stronger than you. I can strip leaves off trees. I can scatter clouds. Nothing is stronger than me. Nonsense, said the sun. I can melt ice. I can burn wood. Nothing is stronger than me. Then a weathercock called up to them. cock a doodle doo I can tell you who's stronger. The wind and the sun rushed down from the mountain top. See the farmer over there? said the weathercock. Whoever gets his coat off first will prove who is stronger. Easy, puffed the wind. And he blew and blew. But the farmer clutched his coat tightly and would not take it off. I blew all the straw out of his hair, yelled the wind. Ah, but you didn't make him take his coat off, said the weathercock. Now it's the sun's turn. So the sun started to shine and filled the valley with golden light and shimmering heat. 
The farmer's dog lay down in the shade, panting. The farmer mopped his face. Then he unbuttoned his coat and then he took it off. You've won, said the weathercock. The sun is stronger. The wind was so annoyed, he huffed and puffed up to the top of the mountain and left the whole valley to sleep in the sunshine. Oh, that's better. I'm a bit warmed up now. Come on, Uncle Roly's making us some warm milk. Mmm, <laughs> warm milk, delicioso. <laughs> Come on, Migo. Mmm, warm milk, comfylicious velvet. Let's a go go. Crunchy, crunchy, scrumptious. Yummy, Ready? Ready. <laughs> Yum! Thank you, Uncle Roly. Mmm, thank you, Roly. Let's go and play. Can't catch me. <laughs> See you later. Snooter Gator. Oh, it's cold in here. It's very cold in here. Oh, it's very, very cold in here. There's only one thing to do. What's that? Shiver. No. Jump up and down! <laughs> if you could jump as high as me, think how high a you would be. As high as a bird, as high as a tree. Think of all the things you'd see. That's how high up you would be, how high up you would be. You! I can jump up high like you. High as a bird. Think of the view. I'd see all of those things too. Cause I can jump up high like you. Jump up high like you. If we could jump up in the sky. If we could jump up really high. See black <laughs> I'm warm now. I'm so warm. I'm hot. <laughs> Me too. Me three. We need cooling down. <laughs> then one cooling down story coming right up. Now then, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. It was the coldest day of the year. The sky was white, the trees were white, the grass was white. Everywhere Snowflake looked was white. But Snowflake was very happy. All around her friends were dancing. Hello, hello, they shouted to Snowflake. Bump. Suddenly, Snowflake landed somewhere. She landed on something orange. It was a carrot. Someone was pushing the carrot into a big ball of snow. For a nose. Then someone else added two big buttons for eyes. They were making a snowman. Snowflake could hear the children laughing and playing until it was time for them to go in. Then Snowflake heard a voice singing. It was the snowman. He was singing a happy song. 
here I am again, uh, happy as can be, uh, with my snowflakes keeping me company. Snowflake looked up at the sun shining brightly in the blue sky. Soon she could feel herself sliding down the snowman's chin and onto his tummy. Oh dear, she said. It can't be time to go yet. I've only just got here. But then she melted onto the ground with a plop. The other snowflakes were falling too. Goodbye, goodbye, they said. See you next time it snows, said Snowflake. Oh, now I'm all chilly again. Me too. Me five. <laughs> well, there's one more thing you can do to warm yourselves up. Oh, what's that, Uncle Rolly? Hmm. Busy book, busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Florrie. What are we going to do today, Florrie? Look, the sun. The sun's hot. And a snowflake. The snow is cold. Oh, a hat. When would you wear this hat? When it's hot or when it's cold? It's a sun hat. We wear a sun hat when it's hot. That's a woolly hat. When do we need a woolly hat? When it's hot or when it's cold? Hmm. Do we wear a woolly hat when it's hot? No. <laughs> we wear woolly hats when it's cold. Look, a fan. When can you use a fan? When it's hot or when it's cold? We can use a fan. Rolly Moe's got a hat for the sun And one knitted by his mum Says wardrobe's chest of drawers At the department store We go! Amigo! Let's a go go! Little Bo! What do you know? I know it's cold today. Oh, why don't you go and find a nice cosy book while I go and make some warm milk for you all? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just doing some knitting. Can you see what I'm making? It's a mitten. Oh, I'm knitting mittens for the thimbles. Can you guess who these are for? I'll give you a clue. I've already made a pair for Florrie and a pair for... <laughs> Hello to you. Ooh, how do you do? <laughs> it's really cold in Thimble Valley today. I think it's nearly winter time. Ooh. Ready? Then off we go. Whee! <laughs> There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know. His name is Rolly Mo. Baby Pom, so these are four. Fimbo. Ooh, I hope he likes them. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. Oh, it must be chilly outside. Your nose is even pinker than usual. It's very cold outside, Uncle Rolly. It's even a little bit cold in here, too. You go! <laughs> Me go. <laughs>